Hello everyone. So there's this report here that EFCC reopens corruption probe against former governors. And you have a lot of these governors, some of them that had even left office over a decade. Uh, in the Northwest, we have Sule Lamido of Jigawa, 1.35 billion naira. I know Sule, Sule Lamido has left. Somebody has done eight years already and someone else uh, is there right now. Rabiu Kwankoso, 10 billion naira. Kano, Ali Wamako of Sokoto, 15 billion naira. Belo Matawale Zamfara, that just finished one term, just yesterday, 70 billion naira. North Central, you have Abdullahi Adamu, Nasarawa, 15 billion naira. I'm trying to think, was it this one? that uh, was going gone in for Senate president and then he had to resign and then his, the charges against him during Buhari, EFCC dropped the charges against him. I'm thinking whether he's the one, I know it was somebody from, from that, uh, no, 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 it, it wasn't the one, it was Danju Magoji. Yes, it was Danju Magoji that was uh, gone in for uh, presidency at the same time that Ahmed Lawan was going in for presidency of the Senate at the same time that Ahmed Lawan was doing that. And then there was a deal that was struck uh, by uh, between him and Buhari. And one part of the things was, it was reported, part of the things was that the EFCC case against him will be dropped. So EFCC are coming to, you see, when we have these institutions that are not strong, that are being used by anyone, this is exactly what happened. On, 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 on an ordinary day, and the way it's supposed to be, the a president, whoever is there, talk less of an illegitimate or whatever, don't, should not have a right to tell an institution who to investigate or who not to investigate. When institutions are right, the person is supposed to look straight dead into the eyes, middle eyes of the, of the president, whether Mr. President or Madam President, and say, Mr. President, or if it is Madam President, that's not possible. We can't, uh, we can't accommodate your wishes by the constitution. This is what we are supposed to do. And this particular person is one that we have to in investigate. That's the way it's supposed to be. But what we have are yes, are yes, are women. We don't have strong institutions. We just have strong men and women who come in and do everything they want to do and tell the institutions what they want to do. That's why you hear things like, oh, the president has ordered the IG to... Why does the president need to order an IG to do what he's supposed to do? Doesn't he know what he's supposed to do as, uh, as the head of the uh, institution? Doesn't he, at the head of the, the police force, even that force in that name, we'll get, to, we'll get there someday. Doesn't he know what he's supposed to do? Doesn't he know what he, the constitution tells him to do? So he has to wait for directive to know what are the cases to be pursued and what are not the cases to be pursued based on the interest of whoever is president or the, or the president of the ruling party. That is not acceptable and that has to stop. Not is we have Danju Magoje of Gombe, 5 billion naira. We come to the Southwest, Kayode Fayemi, Ekiti, 4 billion naira. Uh, also in Ekiti, I think Ekiti is the only state that has two people from the same state. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. There's another state also that has two, people, two, two governors from the same state. So Ekiti, uh, surprisingly, Ekiti is the only one from the southwest that is not there. I wonder why Tinubu is not here. Tinubu has had a lot of cases with EFCC, uh, EFCC that have been out there. Yes, he, he might be the illegitimate uh, president today. He might be enjoying some sort of immunity, but the immunity does not stop him, does not stop probe. Probe can continue. It's only prosecution that shouldn't happen. So I'm wondering why Lagos doesn't have uh, Tinubu right here on this case. But of course, you know, as it is, these are not strong institutions. These are controlled uh, by, by some people. So, Southwest, you have Kayode Fayemi, Ekiti, 4 billion naira. You also have Ayo Fayoshe, Ekiti, 6.9 billion naira. Then you come to the Southeast, you have Teodo Oji. Uh, I'm shook at what? What? 551 billion naira? Oh, my, my, they pay me. I've been waiting for this one now. What? 551 billion naira. Ah, ah, ah. As of this time, I said, was dollar even, was dollar even up to one, 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 hundred naira? Yeah, just, no, about hundred, two hundred, whatever. Wow. 
551 billion naira to the OG Abia state. Oh, my Abia people. I'm happy for you people. Shall you have OT now? Chima Roken Namani, Enugu, 5.3 billion. Sullivan Chime, Enugu, ooh, 450. Okay, okay, this one is 450 million naira. Okay. You know, sometimes I'm forgetting that this Sullivan Chime was ever a uh, governor. His own, okay, his own, he didn't enter billion. He did 450 million naira. Then you come to the south, south. We have Timmy Presilva. Uh, Bayesa 13.2 billion naira. Then we have Peter Odili 100 billion uh, naira. Former minister, I'm I'm shocked that it's only these two ministers that we have. We have Sadia Umar Farouk 37.1 billion naira, and then Olu Agun Loye Power Mines and Steel 6 6 billion dollars. I didn't say naira dollars. Dollars. Look, look at my mouth. Dollars. Yes, that's what that that's what this one is being accused of. Wow. And most of these people, they some of these cases have been going on for decades. So it's almost like oh nobody cares. Oh they will, so after when they are tired they will move on. Really no prosecution. Even the few cases that we've had prosecution, what has happened at the end of the day? Supreme Court will overturn it over technicalities. We have former Delta State governor served in in uk prison but i can tell you that if it was nigerian prison his name he probably might not even be on this list or they'll just put it somewhere somewhere we just keep going these are people's money these are people's wealth i don't know how people don't feel so angry over this whole money they are being stolen by a few people they are enjoying on our, we are suffering they're enjoying on our on our head i don't have a problem with anybody that makes his money legitimately all of i clap for you kudo. they just that steal loot men kill over our money nah we should do better and ensure that they are being prosecuted honestly because this whole thing this whole thing it's really very annoying this whole thing we are talking about the insecurity we are facing today it's all related to the poverty to the suffering when people don't have any hope in nigeria they will carry everything and come against us they will kill us because they've seen they look at every one of us and think oh we're all looting their money we're all the enemies we've we've deprived them of many things the way the thing is that for some people eh, i've always said this before the fact that you are just educated the, the fact that you're educated means you're privileged the fact you have access to uh, information means your privilege. For some of them, the fact that you have a job, the fact that you have a clean shirt, you have that you have a mobile phone, or you have a smartphone and all of that, it makes you one of the other. It makes you one of the oppressors. So don't think that when they are looking, thinking about the oppressors, they are only thinking about the people who are really stole, stealing their money. They can't even reach those people. It is you and I that they are looking at and thinking we are the oppressors and being angry at us and coming at us and doing all sorts of things. And I can tell you, it really, really is crazy sometimes. You don't even know where to start you don't even know where to that's why you, we've had cases of you know people having accident and some people will come and say there was a time very painful report of uh, uh, an accident that happened and some people just refuse to allow the, the guy to to be taken to hospital they say and one of this way they steal our money now this is i'm telling you some the person who was recounting the the the, the incidents so like she wanted was like she wanted to help this person the people had they said no just why because he has a clean car so having a clean car makes you the enemy. Having a clean car makes you one of the oppressors. So for them, they don't even see this. They can't think about this. They can't fight this. It's you and I that will fight. And so when you see a lot of people, a lot of atrocities happening in Nigeria, people have lost. So people have seen people who are stealing anyhow and carrying money away. And they think what's there. They think we are all the enemies and we are all suffering it, sadly.